welcome back to the sewing room. I haven't been down here all week. I've ended up taking a lot more time off than I intended to. So I have a few things to catch up with you guys on. I haven't been able to decide what I want to do work-wise. I've got two sew along tops that need to be done and I think that's what I'm going to work on today and then I have all the dresses that need to be hemmed. Dad has promised to try and dig out his laser level on Monday when our gardener turns up, our gardener stroke, handyman stroke, painter stroke, man Friday. Basically Vaughn is awesome, does everything. They're going to try and dig out the laser level for me on Monday. I've, I've just been really really lacking motivation since I got back from London. It's it's this related but you know I, I'm not going to bang on about that too much because you guys have heard me waffle on about that for a very long time. My next appointment is until November which sucks but never mind, never mind, carrying on. Oh I also um, so Hot were going to be at the Festival of Quilts but they decided not to attend and they did a virtual kind of stall and discount at the weekend for the Festival of Quilts as well. I knew I wanted to get myself some Mora leather so this is the faux leather by Emmeline Bags and I think So Hot are the only UK stockists of it. I had wanted the tan colour and it said that they had a metre and a half left. I ordered it and then I got an email from them just saying sorry stock levels were out of whack they didn't have that would I like another colour or a refund. So I decided to go for this I think it's called Spicy Mustard I'm going to put the correct name down the bottom there. Decided to go for this one and I'm trying to see if I've got any savannah floating around and I have, I have my large bolt in front of me so I think it actually goes really well with this I think the tan would go really well really well as well and I would like to get my hands on some of the tan at some point in the future I can definitely order it from Canada if I want to but I'd never I just I wanted to see what it was like I know everybody raves about it and I can see why it is lovely I'm going to be attempting <laughs> attempting to make a couple of bags from this I've got a meter and a half there's a few that I would really like to make there's the Maggie 55 and I can't remember the name of it but it is like a th slouchy bag and I particularly like slouchy bags so there's that one there is the Oro Rossa Oro Rossa Rosa Oro Rosa <laughs> Magdalene bag which is the circular one. I had seen somebody on Instagram make this one which I just think is absolutely stunning and then there is also the Chloe pixie bag which I love and I actually do have those handles so I'm wondering if I could perhaps give that a go. I do have a small suede skin that would match with this somewhere. Two secs. And back. Technic I mean technically it's a it's a kid skin leather. I mean it's actually perfect. So like, if I did go for something like the pixie bag, I could use the suede side of this with the faux leather. I bought this actually for dressmaking. I was gonna make a dress for a friend and she decided against it. So I've ended up with this and it's a very small skin, so I can't make an entire bag out of it which is why I'm thinking of combining it with this faux leather. If I can make it work, the pixie bag kind of hack, I think that would look really cool. And like I say, I do have the handles for that. I think the only ones I, I think I have rose gold. I haven't looked at my bag hardware for a while because I haven't made a bag for a very long time. I'm thinking maybe that one. I also really love the Carter bag by Swoon. I really really love that one and I'm thinking that I could enlarge that a little bit because that's my only complaint about the Carter bag is that it's a, it's a little bit small for me so I'm thinking I could maybe enlarge that one and then there is this Mulberry the Alexa bag which is very similar to the Carter bag and if I stole the plaited handle instructions from the Maggie 55 bag I could do the plaited handle. It wouldn't be quite the same but it would give the similar kind of look so there's kind of things percolating in my brain. I also really like the hobo bags. There is the Moonwake from Lavender and Twine which I do really really love and I have all those patterns. I do have all these patterns so I have plenty to choose from. There's also the rosy bag from Swoon that I'm thinking I can perhaps use the Chloe Nile handbag hardware with because the Mabel bag that I did the Patreon pics voted for a so along for that a while quite a few years ago now and I did make it and I just hated how it turned out and I didn't want to put it out out there I think my black one worked quite well because the black here kind of like 
it wasn't perfect it wasn't the it wasn't brilliant so i'm thinking maybe the rosy bag might be a better way of doing that yeah anyway that was a really long-winded waffle wasn't it about faux leather but faux leather has turned up that was part of my show purchases as well although it did take a little bit longer to get here because there was the slight mix up with the colors speaking of patreon peeps i have some new ones to say hi to first up is the very lovely paula cloutman and welcome paula and thank you for joining the patreon peeps and paula i will get to meet at some point because she is going to be coming to one of the retreats which is awesome next we have the lovely angela morales welcome and thank you for joining the patreon peeps then we have the very lovely letty hello and welcome and thank you for joining the patreon peeps we have the very lovely Elizabeth Pang. Thank you for joining the Patreon peeps and welcome. The very lovely Linda Warrington bought me a coffee on my coffee account. So thank you very much, Linda. Very much appreciated. And then finally, I have to say a huge, huge thank you to Maria Abbott. I have two work email addresses. One is info at Kittenish Behaviour. One is Sean at Kittenish Behaviour. I tend to ask people to use the info at Kittenish Behaviour for like just sort of, you know, that's the one to contact me on because it's easier for me to work my way through that. And the Sean one I end up is, is like, correspondence so people have already responded to kind of thing it makes sense in my head but I hadn't had access to my info at kittenish behavior email for about two weeks I don't know what was going on I tried the password it just didn't work for some reason when I was coming back from London so on the on Monday no Tuesday this week it suddenly clicked back in and started working and I had two very very lovely emails from Sherwood Fabrics on behalf of Maria it was Maria's 62nd birthday as a present to herself she bought me gift vouchers for Sherwood Fabrics which which is unbelievably amazing and absolutely awesome of you, Maria. So thank you very, very much. The vouchers are to get the extra lemon fabric for my upcoming projects. So thank you very much, Maria. I think what I'm actually going to do, and I hope this is all right with you, but I'm already planning my next collection. Oh, as you know, we've got the Savannah collection and then I'm gonna be rounding out the pirate capsule collection is the overall one and I'm hoping to get that done by Christmas so I'm going to need some new sewing plans for the new year. One of the Lady McElroy prints that I absolutely love is the foliage canopy. I have that on the Lena Crepe the cotton lawn, the viscose Loretta lawn, so the one with a little bit of stretch in it. I've made a dress of the scuba. I have it on the viscose jersey, also the cotton drill. So I have it on six bases. They bought it out on the chamb chambray linen as well, which Big Bird had, and I did see at the show, and I was very tempted to get, but I was thinking I'm not gonna get to these till next year, 2022. What I'd like to do with that voucher, Maria, is get myself three meters of the foliage can canopy chambray linen for some trousers. I I am also going to treat myself to, I'm going to get the name right, Lady McElroy Teasdale Red Suiting and it is a 80% wool, 20% polyamide, stunning woven style suiting in red. The foliage canopy, have I got any that I can easily get hold of? Two secs. I've got to try and find it. It's the bottom of all of the piles that it's in. Okay, so this is the fabric that I'm talking about. This is the jersey crepe of it. It has, it's not technically red but it has these kind of reddish rusty veins going in or stems going into some of the leaves i don't think she has the pattern up anymore or the picture up on anymore, anymore on her instagram but it was mrs f42 i will try and find it so i can link her down below because i just love her aesthetic but she had made the carolyn pajama shirt from this with red piping and it was something that i had never even considered before and it looked stunning i have this fabric on i think every brace that they've done it in the only thing that i've made it up in so far is the scuba i've made a dress out of the scuba and i don't think i have a picture of that one but i do wear what that one frequently and i love it so what i'm thinking and again <laughs> i think this is a good idea so the base of this fabric is black so that's a really good kind of I, I need some black trap. I have some black suiting from Lady McElroy already. I have five meters of it. So I'm going to make some black suiting pieces to go with this. But I'm thinking that this Lady McElroy Teasdale suiting in red will also make an amazing skirt, trouser and waistcoat combination to go in with some of the pieces from this. Because as I say, I have it on every base. So I'm thinking that this is going to be my collection in January. I would very much like to treat myself to the suiting with your vouchers, Maria. I hope that is exciting acceptable to you because I'm going to get a little bit of the lemons so I can make a shirt to go over my black grey dress because I really like how that looks with the hydrangea story one that I did but yeah I'm really excited about this next one as well. Basically every single fabric I have in my stash here I have plans for. There's very few in here 
that I have zero idea what I'm going to make with them. Yeah. <laughs> Lady McElroy also do a print called Covent Garden, which is black and green leaves as well, which I think will work really well with this. They do it in the cotton lawn, which I have, and they also do it in a viscose, which I would like to get some of as well. Maria very kindly bought me £125 worth of gift vouchers, so I won't be able to get all of that with one of those vouchers, but I will be able to get the suit, six metres of the suiting and three metres of the linen chambray and a metre and a half of the black Bright Side of Life print with that voucher and the discount that they're doing and the points that I have. And yes, so I, I've got a whole bunch of things that I can stick together so I can get it down to, to, to like just, I think it's £127, which is amazing. So thank you very much, Maria. That was incredibly kind of you. I'm sorry it took me so long to say thank you, but as I say, I didn't have access to that email for the longest time. So it was one of those ones where it came, popped back up and it was like, oh wow, so happy birthday to Maria. Happy 62nd birthday, Maria. I hope you had a fabulous day. Right, that was a lot of waffle, wasn't it? I've got, I'm so, I, I am so tempted to start getting these fabrics out to pair with this like I've done with this cubby hole here but I don't have a spare cubby hole to do that in because I have got two, I've emptied two which have now got patterns in them yeah I don't have a spare cubby hole to, to move this all into so I need to not do that although I really really want to <laughs> but yeah I think I'm going to attempt some sew along sewing hopefully I can concentrate I think I should be able to I um it should be fine it'll be fine if, and if, I, if I can't concentrate I have other things that I can do so it's not the end of the world I am yeah I'm gonna get on with some sewing and I will show you how I go as I go when I get there and fingers crossed these sew alongs turn out okay and understandable and legible and all those kind of things and um yeah anyway I'm, I'm my, my little brain is already planning like the dress from this and the t-shirt that's going to go with the suits and stuff as well. <laughs> oh, my it's kind of like I it's kind of like I've already done that and now my brain's like now what what next what next and it's like no 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 you need to you need to finish this first and the pirate capsule collection we'll see I think it's going to keep me busy for the rest of the year basically so I hope you guys like that palette and that collection because that's basically what I'm going to be selling for the rest of the year now I'm going to shut up I'm sorry I am waffling um I'll be back in a bit one eternity later okay i have finished the top i haven't i've got my um high-waisted well empire line decades of style trousers on with this so i didn't bring the right trousers down or the right bottoms down to try this on with and susie is trapped in here with me so she's whining so this does actually it's not too tight over the hips without this this on uh, this is a thick denim but the top half of this i I'm not sure I like it. I I think I do. This seems this should be the sort of thing that I love because I like blues on effect tops with fitted waists. Might try putting this inside of the trousers, even though the waist of the trousers actually comes up higher than the top. I should have brought my denim skirt with me. Uh, let me go and look in the mirror. I'm I'm not sure. I think I like it. It has grown on sleeves, the pleats to give the blues on effect and shaping over the bust and then obviously the fitted peplum which I've now tucked in. I don't think I would ever wear it, let me tip you back a bit, you can see my face now. So I don't think I'd ever wear it with the peplum out because I don't wear, let me let the dog out. I'm gonna have to go and rescue her if she starts screaming. So yeah, I don't wear the types of skirts the, the peplum could go over the top of, as you guys know, they're all very voluminous. I also don't wear or have any trousers that the peplum could go over the top of it, so it would always be tucked in. I don't dislike it, I just don't think it's the nicest top I've ever made. It's very different to the pattern envelope, which I will have put up here for you. The, the one that the lady is wearing on the pattern envelope is clearly an empire line. There is no way that that's where her waist is. And this is supposed to be the waistline of this top. Let me just undo these trousers and try and roll this down a bit so you can kind of... So, yeah, this is definitely meant to be on the waistline. I added an inch of length to the in the length and the shortened lines on this pattern. And it is, it's, I probably should have added maybe an extra half inch is sitting just above my waist but that's not the worst thing in the world but it's definitely not an empire line like it looks on the lady on the envelope 
Words, words are hard. <laughs> I managed to concentrate enough to make this thing. I'm, I'm impressed with that. I don't know. The It also comes with frills for the cuffs. I wouldn't do that. It comes with a tie, which I do kind of like the idea of. But I just, I just don't, I don't know. I don't know how flattering it is. Like I said, I'm not doing it any favours with the, the, the bottoms that I've picked to pair it with. I should have brought my, my tra uh, skirt down. But this gives you like the idea of what we're dealing with. Hang on. There you go. So, yeah, it fits nicely, I think. Again, grown on sleeves, so my range of motion doesn't go above there but that's not surprising because it's fitted at the waist and there is no kind of underarm gusset to give it like more flexibility you know what it is i think i'm just not a fan of grown on sleeves and like the the extra voluminousness that they give here i don't know i just i just don't know i don't hate it but i don't think it's the my favorite top that i've ever made having said that i haven't made very many tops as you guys know i like the neckline i do like the neckline I kind of think it might be quite cool because the other two options are peplums for the bottom half rather than this fitted one so they're kind of more uh, high low hems they could they could look quite nice i'd want to style them with either leggings or skinny jeans and boots and i just don't wear that anymore because i don't feel comfortable in it i don't know how useful this top will be in my wardrobe i mean it went together well i've sewn it nicely if i say so myself i like the color the fabric feels nice it's a viscose i'm just not sure about the finished article hi what do you think and i cl i mean clearly i currently have my trousers around my hips <laughs> i'm not convinced not convinced at all but it'll be interesting to hear what you guys think mum and dad are currently next door with the neighbors from two houses over there's so our actual next door neighbors and then the neighbors that moved into the house next to them the other side they're all having a barbecue in the middle neighbors back garden and i was invited but i just can't concentrate and wouldn't have been great company so i decided to try and do some sewing instead and i'm glad that i did because this thing has been waiting to be made for quite a long time it was voted for by the patreon peeps quite a while ago that's the dog screaming she has stopped though yeah it's voted for the, by the patreon peeps quite a while ago i thought i was going to really like it and then the just the, the 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 difference from the finished garment and the drawings threw me for a loop because this is what i was expecting this is what i was expecting and i don't think this looks like the pattern envelope it looks similar but it's just not the same proportions as the pattern envelope. I kind of let that throw me for a loop, but I really should have just taken it out and tried because it was quite clear where the waistline was marked and things. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Constructive criticism. <laughs> hmm. I am not sure, but never mind. It's another one done, and I think the sew along is going to be good. I'm going to be interested to edit that. I, that's another thing. It's like doing a sew along for something that I'm not 100% in love with. But if I only did sew alongs for stuff that I've previously made, then I wouldn't have a very large collection of things to vote on or for you guys to choose from. So I'm trying to branch out and use patterns that I've never used before. I don't know, what do you think? What do you think? Anyway, it's about half past five, so I'm gonna go and get myself some dinner and then decide whether I come back down here and start working on the Simplicity shirt or if, I don't know, I don't know. I might try and get something cut out so that I can have something to sew tomorrow because the only other thing that I've got to sew is the Simplicity shirt and then the Camilla camisole. I don't want to do either of those on the live stream and I am doing a live stream tomorrow. Although you will have seen this yesterday, so you will have seen the live stream yesterday, so you already know what I'm going to do for the rest of my evening. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm pleased I got it done. I think it's growing on me. I don't know if it's in the, because if, if it's a plain fabric, I wonder if I'd like it more if it was in a print weirdly i'm not feeling that it emphasizes the bit that i don't like i think i think it's this area that i don't like anyway food food next then more sewing okay so i showed mum the top and she really likes it i'm gonna be really interested to see what i think once i've seen it on camera and i don't know why that makes such a big difference to me because i suppose like the mirror that i have here i'm quite a way away from it and i am short-sighted as you guys all know so maybe that's i don't know i don't i don't know we're gonna see i'll i'll, I'll i will put in a caption 
to say whether I like it more now that I've seen it on camera or not. But yeah, I'm glad that I got it done. I have got all the footage to edit now. I... <laughs> I'm not sure. I mean, it went, to, it went together really easily. I'm just not sure. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. So I have just had mac and cheese, which has been lovely. It was really tasty and very soft, which was great. I think I am going to call it a night for now. I have still got the shirt and the camisole to do. And I could totally get the shirt done this evening, but I've had enough concentrating for one day. I don't think I can concentrate anymore. So I think, yeah, I think I am going to call it a day for now, but never mind, never mind. I have no idea what I'm going to do tomorrow because I can't do the shirt because it's a sew along because I need to film each step. Although I suppose maybe watching it live and seeing how I fluff up <laughs> and all the bits that I cut out might be interesting. Oh, I, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Probably play with some fabric if I'm honest, but we'll we'll see. We shall see. But I'm very pleased that I managed to get what I have done done today. That was good. That was good. I hope you've enjoyed the little bit that I have filmed. Hopefully normal service will resume next week when all of this starts behaving itself again. We shall see. But anyway, I'm gonna call it a night. So I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.